We're in London at the UK Latte Art Championship. Here we're judging coffee, but we're judging it visually. Now these guys can pour milk into the brown coffee and create many different patterns. It's, it's crazy, you know, they've put in some unbelievable patterns out of that milk. You'll see dragons, swans. Or free pouring the actual patterns of butterflies on top of the coffees. On some of the drinks, they're also allowed to etch into the coffee to create something a little bit more interesting. This is a competition that, you know, it's gonna go global. We are looking for somebody to represent the UK at the end of the day, so it does have to be viewed seriously. There's two visual judges checking to see how, how difficult the pour is, technical, and a head judge as well. And people really take pride in it. You'll see people taking photos, you know, want to know what it was. It's phenomenal. So you've got 20 people competing over one day. The winner from the UK will go off to represent themselves in the World Championships in Gothenburg in Sweden in June. You always kind of have the little kind of like the drum roll before you go on stage, and then everything kind of like goes into the little quiet silence and you kind of like just zone out. That's it, you have to step up and, and be awesome. I found out things about myself that I didn't realize that I'm usually quite confident with at work. And then as soon as you're doing it in front of a bunch of people and people that actually know what you're doing, it gets a little bit You've seen some spillers, of course. When you're nervous, the first thing that shakes is your hand. You can all do this on a day-in, day-out basis in a shop, but taking it here, put it in front of a stage, then yeah, of course, you're going to spill some milk. That was really traumatic. I did both my drinks, and I was like, right, all I have to do is carry it over. That's when my hand was like, no, no, you're not going to have it. Went all over my hands. Luckily, not all over the judges. But added pressure, you've got guys with cameras, you've got obviously judges, so it's nerve-wracking, as well as creating six drinks in front of an audience and the judges. There's also a time element, so there's uh, eight minutes. That's seven minutes gone, one minute remaining, one minute. One of the things they're watching for is for a judge's hand to go up and say time, and if they carry on pouring, as soon as that hand goes up, they're disqualified. So there's no second chance with this. It's all quite intense and no one really knows what's going on. You see the competitors, but the judges keep everything to themselves, the scores, everything, right until the end, until you know the top three. It's quite an amazing achievement for whoever wins, um, because Latte Art is obviously, especially now, even bigger than it was a few years ago. And our champion that will go on to represent us at Gothenburg 2015 is... Big round of applause for Dan Chowell! Yeah! Yeah!